Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not a prophet, but I'm just a pastor. But I heard uh, from the Lord about the uh, fires of Australia because it's pretty strong. I was like, what to do? Why, why are they having such much fires? And this, the inspiration I got was because of the sins of the people. Uh, there are four major types of sins. First thing is a corrupt church. The church is corrupt in that they are into the prosperity gospel and just hyper grace gospel where they believe that you're once saved, forever saved, so you can go on and sin whatsoever. And God is so merciful and so loving Australia that He is letting the fires happen, telling them they're about to go to hell, and which is worse, to have fires on this earth or to have fires in hell forever. Which one? Obviously the fires in hell is worse. And God is giving a warning to all those not only in Australia, but into the world, that hey, there's this fire is coming, and God is so loving and merciful to tell you to repent of your sins so that these fires may be turned off. Now, the second thing, I didn't know anything about Australia because I've never been there. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but these are the inspiration that I get. The Australians are very, very high in their pride, of their, they, they're very prideful, and they're very racist. I didn't, I didn't know that they're racist until I got a receipt. Uh, God gave me inspiration that these are racist and I found out all these information because I was like, they're Australian racist and they're against the Aborigine uh, Australian. They're, very, they're being mistreated, beaten by police. Uh, even their racist against the minority groups there, the Asians, all the, all the whoever's there, the Muslims and all these people, they're racist against them and uh, they have high pride racism in their hearts. So this is a problem. And then there's this sexual sins rampant in Australia. And I didn't know um, that they're just getting, they just love the pleasures of the world. And it's time for the real Christians and real people to really come to God and repent of their sins or else this fire is just gonna continue and continue. And I, and I ask God like, you know, like, should I really speak about this? Is I'm not sure, you know, I'm not, you know, like, and then God gave me James chapter 5, verse 17 through 20. Elijah was a man subject, like, subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth fruit. Like, you guys need rain? Well, Elijah was like you guys, and he prayed that it may not rain and it didn't rain for three, three and a half years and then he prayed again earnestly and it rained again and saying that 19 brethren if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins so this is the Lord saying that hey if you go and tell them and if anybody convert you're gonna convert them from death to life and you're gonna hide multitude of sins so he's like go ahead and tell them whether they listen or not it's, it's up to you guys but I'm telling you man come to repentance Bible says that a bird does not even fall to the ground unless God the Father allows it to and there are billions of billions of animals dying every day here because of the wild bushes and fire and people dying God is allowing these things to wake you guys up because the church is sleeping, dead, they're spiritually dead, they're all wanton, going about their fleshly lust, and God is telling you to repent and come back before it's too late, which is worse, the hellfires or the fires in Australia, which is worse, the hellfires is much worse than the fires of Australia. So you don't want to end up in the fires of hell, time to wake up, get prepared, this is not only for the Australians, but this is for the people of the world, they need to come to God and realize, hey, there is an eternal hellfire when your body is dead and your soul leaves the body. There's a place, either you go to heaven with God or you go to hellfire in the center of the earth where you know it's full of magma forever and ever, burning and burning. Which one do you want to go? And God is showing with, by these natural disasters with fires and things, God is showing that the, 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 the fires of hell is much worse. And, and it's very scary and you don't want to go there ever because you'll be there forever and ever burning and we don't want to be there. So you either take it or not, that's up to you. 
uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to come to you pray that, that you may come to repentance. But, you know, if you don't, that's the end of it. And, and Jesus is going to come back soon. Uh, and don't, don't think of, if you're not in Australia, don't ever think that you're going to be safe. Because the Lord God is bringing judgment upon the whole world. And who can stand it unless you come to God daily in repentance and holiness. Be ye perfect as God is perfect. Continue to work on your salvation with fear and trembling because the Lord is knocking and He's about to come. So you better be ready when He comes. Amen? So get ready and let the, let the righteous be righteous still and the filthy be filthy still. The Lord will come to judge and the righteous and the, and the sinners. And He's going to reward according to their deeds. So may the Lord bless you. Uh, I hope you uh, change your mind and come to the Lord. God bless you.